Hi everyone, my name is Golden Boy Colleen and today we're going to open a full case of Sugar Buzz. Now these are very similar to mini brands, it's just that their minis have actual miniatures inside them. There's not much else I need to add, so let's just jump into it. So the first one seems to have the Bosco chocolate syrup in there. It also says on a package that it includes two minis and then six minis and minis. Which means, I think, that this is a big mini, there's another big mini in here, and then one of them or both of them will have a total of six smaller ones inside them. I gotta say it doesn't look as detailed as the mini brands do. They're not really trying to get as close as possible to the real product. But then again what they do bring to the table is the fact that there's actually more minis inside it. So let's open it and see because I hear some rattling in there. Oh that <laughs> I didn't expect that. It seems like we have two more Basco syrups in there. Both of them are strawberry and they are extremely tiny. Unfortunately, it's missing the sticker on the back, but that's okay. This is gonna be interesting to display. I think I'm just gonna put this and then these smaller ones on the side. So real quick, I wanna show you what else is in there. And then for the rest of them, we're just gonna go and just look at the minis. We're not gonna go through this again. All right, first you're gonna have this pamphlet, which is basically, you know, they're just promoting their other stuff that they have. Then there's the checklist and similar to the mini brands, you have the common ones and then you have some rare ones and then some really rare ones. The checklist continues on this other side or maybe this is where it starts, I'm not sure. And it also looks like they're planning to release more series because this is series one. Then there's this little piece of paper that just says, you know, the company's names and you know, that they're registered trademarks and that they have to mention these things for legal reasons, I guess. And last but not least, you have this blind bag that contains another mini with minis inside. Seems like we got the flavor ice. I opened one of these in a short, but I heard people saying that the minis that are inside it are different colors because the one I got was just one color. So I'm guessing you get more colors and then you can just, you know, make them assorted as it says here. Yep, these are definitely a different color from what I got before. The ones I got were blue, these seem to be green. I wish they would have mixed the colors though, so that each of these four sticks are a different color, you know what I mean? So yeah, it seems like we got exactly what it said on the package. We got two big minis and then six minis that are even smaller. First one, the hot tamales, it's a little bit damaged, which I don't like. And the sticker is not perfectly aligned, which is kind of a bummer. We got two hot tamales that are stuck to each other for some reason. It doesn't look too bad, but this particular mini, it doesn't seem like they paid too much attention to it, you know? They were a little bit clumsy with this one. Okay, it was Flavor Ice and the other one. This one has Otter Pops. And there's four, I'm guessing, strawberry Otter Pops in there. You wanna see something interesting? This box is actually not like a full case. I don't know why they did it like this, but it seems like there's cardboard in here. And then see there's one, two, three, four over there and then two more down here, which is which is weird. Why wouldn't it just remove this and have a full case? I, I don't get it. But anyway, let's just uh, keep opening these. First mini is the peanut shoes. Oh, this one opens too, that's crazy. How smaller can you get, <laughs> you know? Oh God, those are so incredibly tiny. I mean, kudos to them for going this small. Let me show you how it looks next to a mini brand. They just grabbed a few mini brands from series four and look at this, that is incredibly small. And they're made out of plastic, so that's a bonus. Oh, there's another one. See, they're so small that I, this one was literally just resting over there in my palm between my fingers. <laughs> that is crazy. So, you know, the only thing Sugar Buzz needs to do is be more detailed with this, like make the packaging look like the exact, you know, packaging in real life. And then make these little things to be the actual product that's inside, you know, one of these. Either way, it's really interesting and it's definitely something different from mini brands and I, I can appreciate that. And we got a box of Neko. I don't know how these are called or pronounced exactly. I don't even know if they're still selling these, but I know from watching different videos that these used to be a big thing in the past. Oh, and we got, now see, this is how it should look. We got individual ones in there. And I'm guessing this is how the real product looks, right? You get a box and then there's these inside, kind of like Mentos. These look pretty good. And again, I'm not very familiar with the company, but yeah, I think they look okay. All right, this time we have the Bosco strawberry syrup and I'm curious to see if inside it's gonna be the miniature chocolate ones. 
Oh, no, that's weird. In this one, we got three smaller strawberry ones. That's very interesting because the other one was chocolate and we got strawberry inside, but there were just two of them and this one has three. All right, seems like in a mystery bag, we have another peanut chew and inside there should be three of those smaller ones. If I can get it to open. Here they are. Since I already have this one displayed with the miniatures out, I'm just gonna close it and leave it like that. Okay, this is a Sweetheart's Cutie Pie. This is also part of Mini Brands. And in the Mini Brands universe, it's obviously a cardboard box, but this is actual plastic. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> Two more very small boxes of Sweetheart's Cutie Pie. Really happy to see this one. It's the Chupa Chups lollipops. And I'm guessing inside there might be really small lollipops. Okay, that looks a little bit different. This one is this one is crooked. Um, yeah, not very impressed with the details on these. But I mean they're still cute, right? I expected something to look a little bit more like the wrapping that's on these types of lollipops, you know? We got the green ones. I'm curious to see if uh, other similar packages will have different colors in them. Alright, this is the Pez candy. Never seen one of these in real life. It looks like a bag of Pez, right? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> we got four little Pez candy packages thingies. I'm so bad at these, I don't know how they're called. But they look cool, I can tell you that much. Okay, this one doesn't want to open. <laughs> okay, the other side was better. Okay, this is new. It's the Toxic Waste Slime Liquor. And there's something in there. <laughs> Smaller ones. <laughs> That is crazy. Look at those tiny things. That is insane, isn't it? I mean, granted this many... Oh my god, my fingers are getting dirty from opening these. I was saying, granted, these minis are not hard to make. I mean, it's just a plastic tube. But I think it's still pretty awesome that they, you know, they went this far to make them so small. Here we have a bag of Smarties Original with tiny Smarties inside. These look really good. I mean, the colors are so vibrant, right? So tiny. They even did the, the way the wrapping looks here at the end, which is really nice. Well, it's just the hot tamales. I was just about to say that it's interesting how you don't get as many duplicates as you get with mini brands. But then again, with these, you can increase your chances because you can actually see one of the minis. So, you know, if you don't have it, you just grab this one. You know for sure that, you know, you can take it off your list. This hot tamales looks a lot better than the other one. Let's see how are the ones inside looking. Yep, they're not stuck to each other like the other ones were. But there's nothing else different to these ones. Otter Pops, we already have it. This one, again, looks to be damaged, which is so weird. The only place they could damage this is in the factory when they made it, you know, or packaged it or something, because, I mean, it's completely sealed. Anyway, I guess if I paid more attention when I bought them, I would have noticed that. Let's see if these Otter Pops have a different color. The ones we just got were red. And yeah, these are pink. So now if we get the other colors, we can just mix them and, you know, have all different colors in one of these. Yep, I felt it through the bag. I opened one of these in a shorts that I posted a while ago and we already have it inside. There should be, yep, a smaller one. Oh, two small ones. That's interesting. The way this looks, it reminds me of picture film. Remember when, you know, they used to have the film in these types of canister? You would put it in the camera and, you know, take your pictures. Once it's done, you put it back in this and you take it to, you know, to your store to get them developed or printed. I think I'm translating from a native language. That's why I said developed, but that might be the word you guys are using here too. Well, this is new, the Mike and Ike Mega Mix Sour. Mini Brands has a few kinds of uh, Mike and Ike, but not this one. <laughs> and we got the Mike and Ike, I think it's the original, uh, original fruits. This is definitely part of many brands. I know I keep mentioning many brands. This is a sugar buzz video. I should stop mentioning many brands. I just don't understand why instead of these, they could have just made the candy that goes inside. I think that would have been a lot cooler, right? It would have made a lot more sense. 
Okay, more Otter Pops. So far we have three of these. Yeah, it seems like they're very popular. Okay, this time... We... Wait, just three? Where's the fourth one? The other two had four. That's strange. Um, at least we got a different color. These are blue. Seems like this package didn't have everything it's supposed to have because we should have had two big minis and then six small ones. And we just got five small ones. All right, we got another duplicate now, the Neko. Let's see if they look exactly the same inside. Yep, exactly the same, nothing different. We have another bag of Chupa Chups, and I'm curious to see if the lollipops inside are a different color. The other ones were green. Oh, darn it. It's green. And we actually have three of them. The other one had four. And I get it now. The reason we have three in here is because the Neko had three inside, so that makes six. Another Bosco chocolate syrup. The other one had two strawberry small ones inside. I'm curious to see what this one has. Oh, nice. We have three even smaller uh, <laughs> Bosco chocolate syrup bottles. Those look really tiny. Dum Dums. I had this one before when I opened it in the shorts, but maybe it looks different. Let's see what's inside. Yep, kind of looks the same. It's just that we got a uh, different uh, flavor. Can't tell what it is. It looks like cherry or oranges or something. I don't understand though why they made it into this shape. I mean, Chupa Chups, you kind of get it. It's round. This is kind of like, I don't know, weird looking. More Chupa Chups. This is not looking pretty good though. It's definitely not centered and I don't know what happened there. Looks better on this side though. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Oh, finally. Okay, we have uh, different color ones. These are blue. One of them seems to always be crooked. But these other ones look good. We have here the Mike and Nike original fruits. And now I'm curious to see what's inside this one. <laughs> yeah, seems like uh, we have the uh, Mike and Nike Mega Mix Sour. See what I mean? Why did they put that there? It's strange, right? Because if you look, there's nothing. I thought there may be underneath or something, but nope. All right, this is a new one, the Mentos. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Just like with the Neko, we have three smaller Mentos in there. They look pretty cool. Again, I just think the actual box is lacking, you know, quite a quite a bit of detail. I think they could have definitely done a better job, you know, adding more details. Okay, we have another one of these uh, toxic waste slime liquors. This time it's the strawberry one. And I'm guessing the ones inside will be blue. Let's find out. Yep, there they are. So, so tiny. Okay, Moon Pies are next. I know what to expect from this one. There are literally individually packed Moon Pies in there. Look at that. When I opened the same one in the short, we got more of them. So, you know what this tells us? That the mystery one in here will actually have four smaller ones inside. Okay, our first Otter Pops duplicate. The other one had red sticks inside. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, okay. We got green ones. By the way, the shape is exactly like the flavor ice. It's easy to mix them up unless you pay attention and read what this says. Flavor ice. I don't know why this packaging looks a little bit different. See, this is the one we just got. Mm, I guess it looks kind of the same. I feel like the colors are more vibrant on this one. But let's see what color are the sticks inside. Oh, orange. That's a new color. More toxic waste. <laughs> that was a nice pop. Okay, this time it seems like we got the, the yellow toxic waste inside. It looks like this one wanted to escape. Toxic waste slime liquor with... Let's see, is it going to be red inside or a different color? Yep, just the red ones. And in the mystery bag, we have the Otter Pops. This is the fifth one we got, so yeah, a lot of Otter Pops duplicates. But hey, I guess you want to collect all of these uh, different color sticks. 
We already have the pink ones. Okay, the Neko, nothing new here, I'm guessing inside. It's exactly uh, exactly the same ones. Yep, three Neko tubes inside. Okay, Pez, this is a nice one. Um, let's see, is it exactly the same inside? Yep, we got exactly the same ones inside. And this is our last one. As you can see right off the bat, there's something new in there. But let's have a closer look. Okay, this is cotton candy. That's nice. With two smaller cotton candy tubs, I guess, inside. Looks pretty good. I really like this bigger one. It's nice to have like a clear tub like this. It just looks nice. And this is the last mystery bag. Let's see if we get anything new in here. Nope, we already have this one, the Mike and Ike Mega Mix Sour, but maybe inside, you know, the ones inside look different. Oh, they do look different. I don't think we have these ones, the Mike and Ike Berry Blast. Well, that's cool. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun opening these. I think they're generally pretty cool, and in an ideal world, one of these products, or the many brands' products, would be looking as similar as possible to the real product and have miniature stuff inside it. In other words, both Sugar Buzz and many brands need to get together and make these into exact replicas of the real life products. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mark your calendars for November 5th when I I will do a 100,000 subscriber special. Yes, I know I'm at 200,000, but yeah, it just, <laughs> the growth was faster than I thought. As usual, I hope you guys stay golden until the next video. Bye bye.